Hey guys, what's up? Sin Doodle here, and we are starting back on. It moves. Uh, let's just dig into this, shall we? Um, we were on chapter two, the labyrinthy thingy, my bobber. And what's this? I cannot go this way. Oh, I can, but I want to go down. I guess. So. Oh, I can't go down. Okay. Wise choice indeed. Is there a... I think this is a puzzle. Fudge knuckles. Like... What do I... Is there... Ah... Uh, that has a smiley face there. That's creepy. Okay, so I pushed a button. Uh, oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, um... This one... Oh my gosh. This one. Then the bottom right. Damn it. Oh, you. Oh, you. Why you make me run across this whole thing the whole freaking time? Make me go in circles. I'm probably gonna have to. Okay. Last one. I'm probably gonna have to go around like 50 times to this crap. Yay, I did it. Wait. Oh, there's so much to explore. I don't know which way to go. What does it say? I don't know, because it won't tell me. Screw you. What's in here? Nothing. I f Gee, yeah, that's smart. I'm gonna run into another friggin' puzzle, aren't I? I don't... What are you... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a terrible night... Oh. Why isn't it going away? Please. Please go away. It's not gonna go away. Okay. Um, that just makes me uneasy this whole entire- But, the music's getting worse. Poster from a concert. This looks old. I don't want to continue this part. I am so scared it's gonna jump out at me soon. I'm not gonna be prepared for it. And I'm gonna be like, ah! A wanted poster. Oh. Well, isn't that wonderful? I don't know where all I've been. Some kind of machinery. Because you know that's not weird at all. I have no freaking clue where I'm going. But I can go down. Did you guys see that? Oh, yeah, okay, um... Is it following me? Or is it just down there? It's just down there, okay. Okay, I'm good. Fuck, that thing, that face scared me. It was fun. Stop it! Stop it! I don't know my purpose yet! Okay. Found another one of you. Oh, I'm running a lot fast. Oh, I got. I'm super scared right now. Stop it! Stop it! I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I need to go back. Is this back? Oh, damn it! She's running too fast for me. Is this back? I really need that face to go away. There's another one. Okay, there's more scary, creepy stuff. Um, what's it? Ventilation, maybe? Oh, No. Freaking way. Wait, where'd that come from, though? We like to oh, it keeps saying that it's below us. What are you saying? Mister, stop. I can't align myself. You know what? Fine. Nothing of interest, I think. Oh, I don't know what to do right now. Um, just keep going. Just keep swimming. Because I don't know what else to do. Maybe I can mess with the gears. Like, I actually want to... Some type of machinery. I am 
stop it, mister. I don't like you being there. This is starting to not get so scary because I can't move on. I don't know all the places that I haven't checked yet, though. Maybe I should. Damn it. How dare you. Stop it. Is the music getting worse? Or is that just me? Damn it. This way. Up. Maybe I should go up, up? May I haven't already tried up, up? What's this? Is that's another ventilation? I feel like it's getting worse and worse. And worse. Oh yeah, I didn't go up. But there's nothing up anyways. Here, let me just... Slide to lift. Instructions on how to use a fire exchanger. There you are. Fixing your shirt. Ugh. No! I'm gonna have a little bit of a nightmare, but it's okay. Hmm. When you awaken from a deep sleep to some to something blah, blah, blah. when you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few months for you to truly understand what's happening. The fog of sleep hangs, o hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving, there was no doubt about that. At first I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light c creeping in the room from outside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first thought was that my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silent. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had obviously woken me. That was it, bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. As if someone disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. That's not creepy. I lay there in disbelief thinking that the noise was, was either my imagination or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. That's exactly what I think. Like if I hear something I'm like it's my cat, it's my cat, I don't care what else it is, it's my cat. Could be anything in the world, but it's a cat. <laughs> it was then it was then that I noticed my door shut as it had been as I'd fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me and the cat had sneaked into my room then. Yes, that must have been it. I turned to turned to I turned to face the wall oh sorry. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes in the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me chased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat, but quickly I raised that the visitor in the bottom bug was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep and much more sinister. As if alerted to and distinguished or disgruntled grundled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle, subtle um, sense of unease I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. I wouldn't be able to move my feet. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost impenetrable penetrable darkness that's I was gonna say that word but then I second guessed what I was gonna say and then I fucking messed up on saying it gosh come on let me read please I just gotta read right now <laughs> I let out a cry as most young boys do I instinctively shouted for on my mother I could hear something stir on the other side of the house but as I began to breathe a sign of breathe a sigh of <laughs> sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me. The bunk bed suddenly started to shake violently as if gripped by an earthquake scraping against the wall. Oh shit. I could hear the sheets blow the me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. Well, well, anyways. 
I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me. Ooh, that would that's scary. No. I remember I used to jump up on my bed before, like, so nothing could touch underneath my feet. Like, I'd run and jump. Pulling me into the darkness, so I stayed there. White knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. Hi, Mama. Mom, what's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief steamed, streamed down my face. Yet, though all of the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as tough as, is it, it was as though whatever had been in that bunk would return if I even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I did not know, but as a child, I felt as if that was, that, as if that unseen menace remained closed, listening. Who? My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was Saturday and I played outside quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long sloping garden in the back. We played there often as much of it as as much of it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the huge I some say sycamore tree. Okay, sorry, I can't even which towered above all else and easily imagine ourselves in the, the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room, ordinary, slight, and in... in, in but for me, that thin boundary was a, look, was a looking glass into a strange cold pocket of dread. Outside the lush green surroundings of our garden field with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside the feeling of something in that room watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, eagerly filled me with hate. It may sound strange to you, but the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse, an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. Oh shit, man. And I'm so sorry that I'm reading terribly. I'm a little tired, so it was just like... Ubadaba Ubadi. Ubadaba Ubadi. Chapter 3. Factorized. I feel so bad because, like, I know how that scary feeling is. Like, you don't even want to talk about it or anything. Like, holy crap, you know? Alright, I'm gonna save that and this is creepy. Well then I guess I'm just gonna have to end it here. And if you liked it, please do something about it and I will be uploading another one soon. See you later.